Hey guys, it's twitch.tv slash venomous nine tails coming at you with another YouTube video. So, you know how we have the new Twitch dashboard? Well, now I have more customizability. I'm going to show you guys a secret trick. Arrow key, so go up, up, down, down. Left, right, left, right, B, A the konami code let's try it again up up down down left right left right b a and you keep doing it up up down down left right left right b a and it brings you this so here it doesn't show because ding 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 i have it in double dark mode because I use Night Eye as a plugin in my Brave Browser to save my eyes. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And that Konami code brings this up. Because originally, like, you don't have the edit stream info panel. And even this is different than what it was originally set up to. So up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. I even put it too many times. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And I'm just going to turn that back on. And perfect. And the stream preview panel keeps me from looking at OBS. Except for when I need to, you know? Thank you, speaking, I don't need it, but it counts as a viewer for me, so I leave it on. That way, it, people start pouring in. And I could always disable it in the middle of my stream by... Yeah. So, personally, I like this. And I have the edit stream info panel. Um, personally, like, I'm not necessarily like the biggest fan of of this so I actually personally find the edit stream info panel to be incredibly useless or not the edit stream info panel this panel to be incredibly useless so I'm gonna move these over here and adjust this accordingly and see where we wind up so this is more my taste so and I just want to pop that out enough to where I don't have to like resize it. And this is my chat. I'm probably going to pop out my chat, so it's not like I really need this. Plus, I can always just open this in another tab itself. So, it is what it is. And these action buttons, I can actually go ahead and hide those. Like, completely if I wanted to. Though I don't need to, so it's just it's a tool. It is what it is, and I'm gonna play around with this until I find something that I like. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. B A. And I might actually disable that stream preview panel. This. This looks nice. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. And I'm gonna, I want everything there for some odd reason. I don't even need my activity feed since it shows like in my OBS. I mean, the same argument could be made of this. You know, I'm like wondering, could I? Have them trade. 
thoughts. Hmm, that was actually an interesting. I could have just done that. And that actually worked fine. And then I did the same info. But then stream activity. This is this like an unnecessary panel? Just kind of the other thing. And then I kind of like this setup. To be completely honest. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just toying around with this to find something I like. And this isn't too bad. I actually rather like this. But I gotta admit, it does look nicer without this, especially since I know that this area right here is asymmetrical. And I have this in OBS anyway. And OBS is actually more accurate with presentation. So, yeah. And OBS doesn't count as a viewer, though. It's not like I really need this, though. So, it is what it is. The activity feed's not too important, but the chat is very important. And I do like it set up like this for some odd reason. I do kind of want to scale chat a little bit. Because I only going to need like this much of my activity feed. In that case, I could just hide the activity feed. Like that. Like... So I want to like measure a halfway point, and I think like that's like I, that doesn't look right to me. So I'm thinking aligning it down here would be perfect. And then I also have my chat and OBS, both of which pop out. So however, I'm still drawn towards doing this, and I am gonna pop this out in a separate screen when I get like a fourth monitor. It is what it is. Technically when I get a third monitor, but I'm gonna constantly be like upgrading that setup. The setup I want requires like five or seven monitors and that's the other thing. So I end up switching which one's my gaming monitor with each of these setups. And, you know, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very useful for streaming on Twitch. Lates. And also, follow me on Twitch. Make sure that notifications are turned on so that you know when I go live on Twitch. Also, turn on notifications on YouTube and subscribe to me on YouTube so you know when I drop a video.